Hi guys, this is Michelle, my everyday wife life, and this is one simple change challenge for August 2018. Hey guys, how y'all doing? So, um, this is again, we changed, we have changed the name of this, um, series it is now being called one simple change challenge because we want to challenge all of you me um luann and laura luann from it's always something around here and laura from my titus 2 journey we want to challenge all of you to join us so you can do your own challenge for the month or you can follow one of us um all of us are doing something different for the month, um, I'm always surprised because, you know, I don't know what they are doing, and so I like to watch their video and obviously, and see what they're doing for the month. And yes, yeah, so I started this year uh, to, for all of the new subscribers, I started this series last year after I, um, was coming out of a bout of depression, and I needed to make some positive changes to better myself, to get myself moving, to get myself up off the couch. Um, so I was doing, you know, I needed to make a lot of changes and it was going to be too hard to try to do all these changes all at one time. So um, I decided I would just make one simple change and then go from there and, and so on and so on. Um, I mean, I'm making other changes, but I'm concentrating on the one simple change I have for the month and yeah it's working out pretty well um I've mentioned in other videos it takes 28 days to um for something to become a habit but to, uh here again you have to actually do the thing for 28 days for it to stick and so far I mean it hasn't really happened but that's all right baby steps so I'm just like starting to make these changes and over the the um, months after I start the change then I will start to develop the habit that's okay I did do really well on the make the bed challenge which was the first challenge of this year you can see my bed is made yeah, probably first time this week. And I'm sorry for my appearance. I will explain that in a minute. Um, yeah, well, just real quick. I'm fixing to go to the gym after this. So, well, but we're going to talk about that in a second. So, the one simple change in February was um, make your bed. And I did make my bed almost every day that month. But truth be told, uh, I haven't really done it a whole lot. Well, each month it like slacked off in this last month. Didn't really do it that much. I did make it today because I was going to do this video. And I like sitting. I don't know. I just like sitting here and the backdrop and stuff like that. I just like sitting here. Um, I don't know. So this month, um, this, well, in July, my one simple change was, what was my one simple change? Oh, yes. <laughs> That's right. It was to wake up earlier. Mm -hmm. Complete fail. <laughs> yes that was a complete fail um I think I just wasn't ready for that oh I was I've been t pretty tired um lately and trying to figure out why and stuff and it, it's because a couple of things in the last week and a half or so I have gained some energy am I waking up earlier no but um I'm getting more stuff done just because I have more energy so a couple of times I did wake up earlier I actually made like a little chart um yeah I'll show you so I used this little um chart that I got from Cass from Clutterbug I'll put the link down below I like things really big big this is really a kids chore chart but I just printed it out because I like to things big and I like to check things off that is just me that is just how my mind works so what I did is I put all of the one simple changes I have done this year and this is for this week and um, that's why there's not a whole lot of checks in it but guess what there ain't a whole lot of checks in the other months either so um make the bed exercise daily actually that one simple change was to make walking part of my daily routine 
Well, I can't walk in now. I mean, I make these one simple changes, but sometimes um, you can't do them every month. You know, life changes, the weather changes. Obviously, it's just way too hot. So that turned into the gym. And then focus on the positive. <laughs> Frankly, that was just a cop out because I just didn't want to do a simple change that month. No, I needed to just dial everything back that month and focus on the positive things I'm doing and not worry about all the things that I'm not doing. And so, and then going to the gym, which that month, was that last, the month before? Was that June? Um, I didn't really go, I think I went one time or something like that, but I started or something like that. But I did that this month and I'll talk about this in a second. And then stretching. I did good that, sort of good that month, but I haven't done that since. Sometimes I stretch when I'm at the gym. So, I didn't wake up earlier. Um, mostly it was 6.30. Um, maybe that's just, there was a couple of times, one time I woke up at 5. Honestly, a couple of times I woke up at 5, but um, that was because I had a headache. Because I've been eating too much gluten. How many times have you heard that story? So, but then I ended up going back to sleep. And then, so, so I was trying to be really productive. And, um, I needed to just take a nap. <laughs> and what I was doing is trying to do stuff and do stuff. And then I ended up taking a nap late in the day. Like around 4 o'clock. And then I didn't want to go to bed. So, I need to just say, Michelle, just take a nap. Take a nap at 1 o'clock so that you can be productive for the rest of the day. But a couple of other things have, have been happening. I, I've been really, really diligent about not eating gluten. And guess what? My um, energy is up now. And my and I was trying to drink more water. And this is... And I am... What was the other thing I was going to say? And... Um, Oh, and taking my vitamins on a more regular basis. I was skipping, and I just have to be consistent and on all those things in order for to have more energy. And I am having more energy, so maybe I don't need to wake up earlier. Maybe, yeah, I might revisit that and stuff. I think I need to go to bed earlier in order to wake up earlier. So maybe I that should be the one simple change is go to bed earlier instead of wake up earlier. Yeah, because I ain't going to work <laughs> unless you, yeah. So, but instead of, I keep seeing this stupid hair sticking out here. Oh, my God. I can't stop. Whatever. Okay. Um, so, but uh, something else happened. So, spontaneously, sort of spontaneously, what, my sister and I took my dad to the doctor um, early last month or was that in June I think it was at the end of the June end of June and for two years honestly guys we've been trying to get my dad to go to the gym he has free membership at um LA Fitness excuse me and um I keep saying um I don't know what my problem was that sorry about that he so he could get free membership to the gym and we've been trying for two years to get him to go because his we noticed his gait is slowed down quite a bit he's spending a lot of time on the couch and there's really nothing physically wrong with him i think that started when his shoulder kind of went out um you know he's the kind of person that he gets a little paper cut on his finger and i, I can't do anything until that paper cut heals I don't know how to explain it to you, but he got a little OCD. So, I mean, obviously the shoulder was pretty serious. So, that was a year his shoulder was bothering, and then he got an operation, and now it's been a year since his operation. So, I guess he finally felt ready, and the doctor prompted him. We wanted to get... So, here's some info for you who have elderly parents. Get them active now. Don't wait until they're non-active to get them active. Get them into something. Um, my parents were do some were doing something called silver sneakers, but then my mom got Alzheimer's. You know, at their gym they were doing that, 
and then yeah that all that stops so they don't have silver shakers at LA Fitness but this is just working out better because I go with him so the let me trip backtrack a little bit squirrel so the doctor we asked the doctor if he could get him some physical therapy but the problem is is social security will only pay for like you know medic what is it medicaid no medicare i don't I always forget which is which but it only pays for like six weeks of um physical therapy and then then where are you left? And that's what he said. So he recommended that we go to this gym. And then there's an awesome trainer who is 63 years old. And let me tell you, this man looks good for 63. And uh, he he caters to the elderly. And um, I guess I'm in that category now. No, I'm just kidding. But um, no, 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 not yet. Uh, so he is awesome. He recommended him. He's really good. And he is. He's awesome. And so when we went to the gym to sign up my dad for that, they said, so do you want to join too? I said, uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> they said, well, it's two for one. So we just link your account since you're already a member here. And he, we, he said that they have couples do it all the time. Some they have, sometimes they have sisters do it, two friends do it, and it doesn't cost you anything extra. It is $200 a month. But we both get trained for it's only for a half an hour. So if you were training by yourself, that half hour would be a little more productive. But you know what? I kind of need to be there for my dad. He's still, um, he's not, I don't know, his movement is not great. And I, I think he felt very uncomfortable and he really wanted me to be there anyway. So it's worked out. So guess what? I have been to the gym every Monday this month. Uh, and I've been trying to go twice a week. Hasn't happened. I'm going today. Today's Thursday. I'm going today for the first time, which today's our, it's already August already. And uh, so for the month of August, I mean, that's not going to be my one simple change. I'm going to do something else. But for the month of August, I'm going to add another day. So for whole, so all of July, I went to the gym with a trainer every Monday. And that could have something to do with my energy, right? I'm sure it does. So, long story short. <laughs> too late for that, isn't it? <laughs> so, didn't do the, the wake up early, but ended up doing that. So, I made another list for the month because... I still want to work on all these other things that I started earlier this year. I mean, there's a ton of other stuff that I want to do. And I've been pretty busy this month with decluttering. So, I've been busy. So, I've been keeping active and I've been productive. And the point of waking up earlier is to be more productive. So, was I more productive? So, I guess it really wasn't a fail because I was more productive. Um... So, what is the simple change for this month, you say? <laughs> so, I debated whether or not to do this or not. This because I really kind of wanted to focus on making positive changes that will stick. You know, like going to the gym, eating healthier, self things. But that I will continue to do forever. So, um... Or for the time being. I don't know. That's what it ends up being. So my one simple change for this month is um, self-care. So wait. So this was for. I did that on this paper. So I need to focus on self-care again. And I've done this before. I think I did that last year though. So self-care. The only qualms I have about that is self-care should be ongoing. You should not take a month and say, I'm going to do self-care this month. However, there's a lot of things that I need to do. So I need to concentrate on self-care. I have not been doing my Epsom salt baths and I still have not gotten a massage. If you've been watching my uh, One Simple Change for, for a while, I keep wanting to go to get a massage. So that is impertinent and don't yell at me but I missed my endocrologist appointment I've been kind of scattered brain lately 
And um, although it's starting to get a little bit better because of indie cluttering, the house is starting to come together. Um, things are starting to come together. I've said this before. It seems like when I go to the gym, when I exercise, I think it's because it's a routine, that all oh, everything else starts to fall into place. So things are starting to fall into place. So that's good. So I missed my endocrinologist appointment, so I have to reschedule that. Um, I need to go to the dentist. Been procrastinating that for the long time. I need to take more Epsom salt baths this month. And this is going to be a really long video. Sorry, guys. Uh, I need to go to the eye doctor. My eyes are just getting worse and worse. I can't. I can't see. <laughs> I need different pair of glasses to drive. I can't see the TV. I need different pair of glasses. These are reading glasses. I can see at an arm's length distance with these reading glasses. Any further than that. Um, well, actually, I can see further, like, maybe another arm's length distance without any glasses, but any further than that, I need glasses for, for far away. So, not good. I need real glasses. These are just stupid readers you buy at Walmart or something like that. Uh, I just need real ones. I'm thinking of, put your comments down below. Do you have those, what do they call, progressive lenses? I've heard good and bad about that. I heard they're really hard to get used to. So I need to make appointment for that. I need to pay, make appointment for the massage. I have to get that done. And that's all self-care. And then the other self-care would be going to the gym for a second time during the week. Um, I'm trying to make that on Thursdays. That seems to be a good day. And my dad wants to go too because the trainer keeps reiterating that um, get here another day in the, during the week. And I just can't seem to fit it in. Something always happened. And I have not posted a video in over a week. And I just, I've been busy. And I, I didn't finish the um, 30 bags in 30 days, but I did 20 days. And that's good enough. I'm not going to beat myself up about that. I got plenty done. Uh, okay, there's beeping going on in the background because it's telling me I need to finish this video so I can post it and so I can get to the gym um, before my dad is meeting me at the gym today too. So, And then we're going to go to, I don't remember what I was saying by the way, uh, and then we're going to go to the nursing home. It's my mom and dad's 60th anniversary. So... Yeah, so really proud, one little thing, really proud of my dad. I cannot believe how well he's doing. He is doing more than he thought he could. And guess what? Who's doing more than she thought he could do? Her, she could. Um, I am doing heavier weights than I do, like 10 to 20 pounds, pounds more. And the trainer's really pushing me, not too hard. He's, he's challenging me. He asked me, is that challenging? And I'm going, yeah, no, it's not. <laughs> it's fine. I could do it, but it's not challenging. So he ups the weight, and I'm doing it. I, I am sore as heck the next day. But then, like on Tuesday, I'm pretty sore. Uh, but uh, on Wednesday, I'm fine again. I feel normal. And so I'm pretty proud of myself. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and try for that second day. But enough about that. So self-care is my focus is my focus this month. I'm doing a lot of changes. Hubby all of a sudden decided he wanted to be more healthy. So uh, we're eating healthier. We're trying not to eat out. and trying to only have two frosted coffee a week. <laughs> Instead of five, six, or seven. And then we've been getting french fries too. So, But that's not the focus. So we're going to be... Uh, so if you want to join the challenge, just let us know in the comments below what you're working on this month if you're going to do self-care that is something that you should be doing ongoing like i said but i'm going to focus on that because there's a lot of stuff that i need to focus on for self-care this month so i'm just it's going to be all about self-care and i got a pedicure it was july my niece was in town and she wanted to get a pedicure so i did get a pedicure so that was the start of that so just write in the comments below what your one simple change is. If you are a YouTuber and you want to join, just let me know and I will, I forgot if I have an open playlist so you can add yourself. Um, if not, I'll check that. If not, just let me know and I'll add you to the playlist. 
We try to post this on the first of every month, but sometimes it doesn't always happen. For all of us, it didn't happen, so it's happening on the second. But anytime in the next couple of days, that's fine. Don't worry about waiting until next month. You can still add it. It's okay. You know, just start your one simple change by the 5th or something like that. That is good enough. So that's it for this video, guys. I got to go turn that beeper off, edit this video, post it so you guys can see it, and then I'm off to the gym. Bye, guys. Until next month, enjoy your day. And as usual, I can't walk because my foot's asleep. I like sitting there on the floor, but my foot always falls asleep. Ow. Ow.